Hello, I'd like to invite everybody back to my YouTube channel. I'm the Norman Lecoq. I just started on this, this painting right here. It's of a bald eagle. I'm laying in the colors. Uh, right now, it looks really kind of dingy. And that's only because this dark, dark background is actually going to actually set this painting off. Uh, after the paint start drying. Hope everybody had a safe holiday. And welcome to the new year, 2021. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just laying in some tones, some colors. And because it's black, it's going to take some time for it to dry. And then what I'm going to do is go back over it again with darker tones to try to bring it out more. When you're painting on a dark background like this one here, what it does, it co it's harder to actually cover up everything else from the black, black background. But on the end of everything, it actually makes your paintings step out. What I mean step out is going to be um, kind of hyper-realism with this one too. I'm trying to get more, more or less into hyper-realism. And we'll see how this one comes out. Take your time. And I know y'all get tired of me saying this, but follow the roadmaps. They do work. Really do. It helps you with your drawings, your paintings, whatever you do. Once you can learn out how it flows, you have to know where you're going with anything. especially your drawings. You definitely want them to, to show good construction, just like a house being built. I find working with oil paints pretty relaxing. I, I just do. Uh, I think it's the flow. It's the detail you can get from these oil paintings. It's all above. What I have, looking over to my far left, is a little tablet that has this uh, eagle's picture on it. I'll show it to you a little later. You know, I prime my canvas with acrylic, acrylic paint first. I try to prime every canvas I paint. Even though sometimes, well, most of the canvas today have some type of primer on it, but I always tend to prime my canvas due to what, what I might be drawing, uh, whether it's a dark picture, colored picture, or something that I'm trying to get a particular type of feel with. What I'm going to be doing, again, is just laying down this color from the beak to the eyes to his feathers, you know. I'm going to come back with 
a fan brush and kind of balance it out, tone it down, tone down some of the strokes. And then when it dry, I'm going to come back again and lay some more color on it. Depend on the temperature. It may take between uh, a day for this paint right here to start drying a good little bit. I'm doing it pretty thin. Hopefully that'll work. do here and start with a basic white and gray I'm gonna just go ahead and just go with this Have fun with your paintings. Don't worry about the edge of that nose. You're gonna come back later on and take care of that also. She's gonna have gray going in here also. To contrast with the white. Taking some gray. You can hardly see it, but it's there. And some light blue. Right around up in that area right here. And later on, you're going to see why I'm doing this. Be sporadic with it right now, just following the flow of the feathers. I'm just doing dabbings right right now and that's just to texture some of the uh, feathers quills on it come back with that too
Somebody's a little hungry. See how I'm taking up the, the shadows and the contour of the feathers, how they are actually flowing on its head. When all this here dries, it's gonna be look totally different than this here. But with anything, you have to have like a base coat. And this is a base coat for this picture. all those eagles have like that piercing look <laughs> look of authority put a little more linseed on get a little more flow Hello, I'd like to welcome everybody back to my YouTube channel under my name, Norman Lecoq. Uh, this is the eagle I've been working on for the last maybe three or four days now. And what I'm doing right now is laying out this beak. Hope everybody had a good holidays and everything going prosperous with them with this new year. This picture here has a lot of good details in it. I mean, I really enjoy doing pictures of this magnitude with this type of detail. What I'm doing right now, I'm blending some burnt umber and ochre to the beak and after I get it to the tint that I want after it dries somewhat then I go back in it and put my detail in uh, with the highlights and everything else with it I'm using a brush uh, the dagger they work very, very well. Just light blending. Not going heavy, heavy with it at all. Very, very light. I want to thank everyone who's who subscribed to my YouTube channels. I appreciate the time and effort. And continue to watch. I'll be coming in with more videos.
and more quality artwork. What I'm using right now for some of my detail work, uh, overlays, you know, using this here, liquid, liquid original, works very well with some fine details. I try to pick up as much as I can with the subtle tones and the tints with my pictures. I want them to look as realistic as I possibly can. Uh, this one here is for myself, so I, I really don't necessarily have to rush with it. Just take your time and do a good job and the returns will definitely come your way. I just love the detail in these pictures or photographs I may be doing. It's relaxing. No stress. Take your time and enjoy your work. Again, yes, follow the little roadmaps. You gotta know where you're going. That's in life and everything else. And your paintings. Now, right underneath the bill, you want to have that more or less a little dark. I'm going to need some tones right now. You want it a little dark. to show that difference in tones there. That's what's going to bring that, bring out that beak to make it extend outward. You can use liquid or linseed oil, whatever you choose uh, to help you along your way with your layouts and your toning. See, I'm following the pattern of the feathers. And I also have some of that yellow up on there, which the reflection of the beak onto the, uh, onto the feathers.
Just take your time. You can't really mess up. Easy said to none, huh? <laughs> Cleaning my brush up a little bit. It's a little bit too, too dark. When doing paintings, uh, like what I'm doing right here, again, have some type of subject matter at hand so you can see exactly what's going on and it will definitely help you with your work I'm going very very lightly with this brush See how it's forming, taking a little shape there. I'm not using much force, just the subtleness with your brush. Because you're going to come back later with your white and you're going to bring out those feathers more prominent. Continue watching uh, later on, then the, probably around Valentine's, I uh, may be giving another giveaway. So, Continue watching and stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and comments. And if you have any questions, give me a call. Say, if I don't know the answers, we'll work together and try to find answers to any problems you may be running into with your paintings or drawings. This pandemic going on, um, painting, drawing, sculpturing, you name it, help relieve some of the stress factors there. What I'm doing right here, like I said, just following a pattern to make that beak stand out and continuing with his beak just laying in some more detail for that realism coming in When you do these paintings, they continue to, I guess, well, they mesmerize me some time to see that they start from nothing and become something. And 
you start getting and taking pride in your work even even more and you steady strive for more and more more perfection as you as you do these paintings and that's kind of what life you want to strive to do more and more And how I work, put the dark spots, dark areas in, and you come back with the light areas, and it's going to give it a contour. And when it contour, everything falls, falls into place, right? So when everything starts falling into place, you see that realism coming, in, coming through with your paintings or drawings, whatever it may be. And you look back at your work and see how you went by doing it. And that's how you learn from trial and error. Yes, you're gonna make some mistakes. Yes, those mistakes can be corrected in time. But you, if you really like doing art or anything else, you're going to continue to want to do it. of trash right there but enjoy your work and it will definitely show it will definitely show and with anything the more you do and again that's that's with anything the more you paint, the more you draw. That's the more, that's the better you're going to get. You're going to start to just whip through everything like with ease. Like a trapeze artist. You're going to see it in your work. almost like no effort at all with it after you start and you continue to paint or draw and then anything you may have to uh, draw paint you will be easy with it Excuse me, I'm just gonna turn out. Getting these little small details. Be surprised what the eye can pick up. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching my channel and subscribing. Give me a call if you need any help. And take care and I'll be seeing you soon. Or you'll be seeing me soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.